Hey everyone, welcome to another video. This video is a small comparison between Ontrigger 2D versus Oncollision 2D. Even though both are used for detecting collisions, there are some important differences between them. I have two scenes set up here. One is using Ontrigger and other is using Oncollision. First we are going to look Ontrigger. There are three types of Ontrigger functions. Ontrigger Enter 2D, Ontrigger Exit 2D and Ontrigger Stay 2D. As the name suggests, Ontrigger Enter 2D will be called when one physics object comes contact with another game object containing a collider component. Ontrigger functions will work only if both of the colliding game objects have colliders and at least one of them have rigidbody component attached to it. And it is important to enable the is trigger on the inspector in one of the game object. Don't forget that if his trigger is enabled, then that game object won't work as a physics component. In my Unity project, I have a cube that contains a box collider and a trigger script attached to it. In the script, I have a rigid body RB, and I am adding a force to the cube when I hit the space bar. And there are on trigger functions. First one is on trigger enter 2D, when the function is called, a text enter will be shown on the screen. And I can detect the game object that collided by checking the tag and the name of the game object. It is better to use the tag method than checking the name of the game object. Next is on trigger exit 2D. This function will be called when the game object is exited from the area of the trigger. Here both texts will show exit. Next function, on trigger stay 2D, will be called when the game object is staying in the trigger area. And I have enabled is trigger for my trigger area game object. Let's hit play and see what happens. So now when the cube enters the area and you can see the tag and name is detected, and enter and stay functions are also called. So when the game object goes out of trigger area, exit functions are called. You can use on trigger enter 2D function for picking up a weapon when the player come near the weapon, or you can change properties when the player enters to a region. Next is on collision function. On collision functions are called when two game objects should use physics. For oncollision functions to work, is trigger should be disabled in both game objects. In the script you can see, just like the trigger script, I am adding a force to the cube while hitting the space bar. An oncollision enter function, a text is showing as enter and detecting the game object by tag and name. There are oncollision exit and oncollision stay functions which will show texts as in the script. When hit play, oncollision enter function is called when game objects come in contact and colliding game object is detected by its tag and name. Oncollision stay is called when the game object remains touched with the other game object. And oncollision exit function is called when the game object is in contact with the other game object. Just like ontrigger functions, oncollision functions also need rigidbody component attached to one of the game object. You can use this to detect the status of collisions of a game object. As a conclusion, you can use ontrigger functions for game objects which doesn't interact physically, and oncollision functions are used for game objects that needs to interact with physics. If you have any doubts, feel free to ask in the comments. And that's the end of this video. If this video is helpful to you, please hit like and subscribe to my channel for more videos about Unity and game development. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Have a good day.